In this video, we're going to show you how to use vibrato warp points. Normally, vibrato warp points are used after you've made a warp region. You can see the waveform and the pitch patterns in the screen. When you're using warp points, it's a good idea to select the warp point tool, so that'll show you where the warp points are being entered and exist. We're going to first introduce a vibrato start warp point, where the cursor was, and that's going to be here, and we want to place a vibrato end warp point where the cursor is now. We're also going to set a fixed warp point here to make sure we don't move anything downstream. Let's play the section we've got using this playback range. Meant be. If that's too long musically, we can simply grab the vibrato warp point and let's shorten its length by almost half. You can see the vibrato periods are getting shorter on the screen, but when I let go of the vibrato endpoint, it recreates the periods of the original vibrato, and it sounds completely natural. Meant be. Meant be. We're now going to show you how to lengthen vibrato. First of all, you need to make sure you have a warp region, so we'll make this a warp region. Another tip is to look at your control settings for the warp by pressing the P key and make sure you have the longer pitch group preset. The vibrato that we want to stretch is here. Me. We want to set our warp point tool on. That way we'll see where the vibrato warp points are. So to enter them, you right click on the menu, go to warp points and add vibrato start warp point. You'll notice we do have a shortcut key set up, but we'll use the menu for now. And for the end point, we'll put it after the vibrato group. Add vibrato end point. And just to make sure we don't push anything downstream, we'll hold down our shift key and insert a regular warp point. Let's listen again. Me. And to stretch that out, just grab the top of the vibrato warp point stretch to the right, let go, and now we have me. And we can hear that again. Me. And the way it started before was this. Me. For more information, go to the Synchro Arts website. 